Hi everyone, Jacob Howard here, and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about video goggles, why they are important, and which ones you should look at getting. Video goggles, or FPV goggles to be more specific, are one of the most important pieces of equipment you will use when flying. They are what give you that immersive experience of becoming a virtual onboard pilot of your drone. They are made up of a portable screen or set of screens that you can strap over your eyes and enable you to see the live video feed from your drone. They have either built-in video receivers or video receiver modules that can be installed to receive video signals. Goggles can come in many different shapes and sizes and can cost anywhere from $50 on up to $800 or more. The most important thing is to find a pair that will give you the best performance and work best for you and your budget. Box versus binocular. There are two main types of goggles, box goggles and binocular goggles. Box goggles usually consist of an enclosure that is formed to fit around your eyes and has a single rectangular video screen that sits a few inches away from your eyes. These often have a lens to help your eyes focus on the screen. There are a few benefits to box goggles, but first and foremost is the price. Box goggles can cost as little as $45. They also often work better for people that wear glasses as you can oftentimes keep them on while wearing them. They are also some sometimes easier to use because of their built-in rechargeable batteries and easy to find controls and buttons. The main drawback to box goggles is the size. They are often large and bulky and might not be as comfortable as other goggles. Because of their size, they are sometimes cumbersome to transport or fit into a bag, but they are great for beginners or even advanced pilots and very cost-effective. Binocular goggles are the most popular style of FPV goggles. They are smaller and more compact than box goggles and often have more features. Instead of one video screen, they use two smaller, more specialized screens and separate lenses to focus and magnify the picture for each eye. Even though the screens are smaller, you can still get a large field of view. Some can also be adapted with corrective lenses to negate the need for glasses. One of the main downsides to binocular goggles is the cost. They are much more expensive than box goggles, but are smaller and sometimes have better resolution than what you can get in a box goggle. Field of view and aspect ratio. Most goggles will have ratings on them talking about field of view or FOV. FOV refers to the measure of how big the screen appears in the goggles. A wider FOV means you can see more of what your drone sees, and a smaller FOV means you can see less. Aspect ratio is the ratio of a screen's width to its height. A lot of newer goggles will come with 16 by 9 standard as opposed to the older standard of 4 by 3. 16 by 9 gives you a wider display, but 4 by 3 allows you to see more on top and bottom. Analog versus HD. Most FPV flyers use what's called the analog video with their goggles. This means that the video receiver and the goggle receives video signals much like an old school TV receives video. There is a carrier wave transmitting at a certain frequency, in this case in the 5.8 gigahertz range. It gets modulated with the analog video signal, then sent out of your VTX antenna. Your receiver then picks this up, demodulates it, and displays the video on your screen. Digital signals operate in much the same way except that the zero wave carries ones and zeros that get decoded on the receiving end and displayed as video in the goggles. What this boils down to is that with digital video signals you are able to transmit a lot more information which equals better video quality. With analog the video quality is good but the analog signal is also incapable of handling HD video. Both systems have pros and cons. Analog systems are readily available and there are less expensive options that work well. Digital systems provide outstanding HD video quality but come at a high price and usually lower range. Analog systems have a greater range and are usually quite a bit cheaper but limit your visibility. Popular brands. Some of the most popular brands for goggles are as follows. Fat Shark. Analog system, very popular with most pilots but are also expensive. Does not come with a receiver module and must be purchased separately. Overall, a good investment. Orca. Analog system, a newcomer to the FPV goggle market. Lots of features that compare to Fat Shark, expensive but still worth checking out. Esheen EV800D. Analog system, the box goggles we recommend in this course. Very cost effective, has the features you need and a big bang for your buck. DJI FPV goggles. Currently the leader in digital FPV systems, has amazing video quality at 720p, but has a hefty price tag. Features and antennas. Most goggles on the market today have a scanning function that can automatically find and lock onto the video signal from your drone or someone else's drone, assuming they are on the same analog or digital system. DJI goggles do this automatically, which is a great feature. On most goggles, you have what is called the diversity system. This means that there are two video receivers that receive the same signal. This lets you put two different kinds of antennas on your goggles, like a directional or omnidirectional antenna. The benefits of doing this are increased range in one direction with the directional antenna, so long as your antenna is facing that direction, and the omnidirectional antenna that will work well in a closer range or if you fly overhead or behind yourself. This gives you the best of both worlds. Another great feature on most goggles is the DVR or digital video recorder. This lets you record what you are seeing in the goggles for later playback. This is a good feature to look for when purchasing goggles as the footage could potentially save your drone. If you crash and are having trouble finding your drone, you can play back the footage to give you a better idea of where it went down. In conclusion, video goggles are an important part of your FPV system and should be purchased with care. It is advisable to invest in a good pair that will last a long time and give you all the features you need. If you enjoyed this video on FPV, we actually have an entire online course developed around these same types of lessons. We're talking dozens of lessons and hours of material designed to get you started into FPV or make you a better pilot. It is the world's first online FPV course and we have students from around the world learning through it. The link to learn more is in the comments below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and have fun flying.